Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Look at him sleeping so peacefully. Like a baby. Do we ever gotta wake him up? And this could actually take a little while here. <laughs> a little action command reference outside of battle. I'm not actually pressing the A button to jump on him with the action commands. I'm just simply selecting yes and Mario's automatically doing the nice, good jumping attack there. And yeah, couldn't be more asleep still, despite me jumping right on his face. <laughs> this, yeah, still sleeping like a stashed baby. Come on, you can get up. I believe in you. Come on, eventually he will. There we go. <laughs> Whew, he certainly is perky, despite just having got up. Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep, as it is all hopeless. Uh -huh. Hmm? Hut. That mustache, that hat, and that hammer even. Hut, hut. I've been looking everywhere for you. Hmm? Why? Well, uh, to bring that cannon back online. I lost my life's work. My very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end. And then the rogue port fortune teller <laughs> told me, Seek the man with the red M hat. I don't have a red M hat! Oh. Forget it. You can't tell that I'm wearing the badges, can you? <laughs> the one with the hammer and the stash. He will fulfill your dreams. Or something like that. Huh? You need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip hip hurrah! That fortune teller was right. So what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready. So go tell the mayor. Now go get... Now get moving. Hut hut! Yep. Really, really perky. I wish I was that perky in the mornings. <laughs> Takes like an hour to feel wide awake, maybe longer. <laughs> so, cannon is back online? Well, I could just explode with delight. Now, let us shoot you guys to the moon. Oh. Woo! Yeah, we did it, Gonzalez. Now, you follow me. Wait, so it's not that cannon over there? Nope, it's actually not this cannon right here. Oh, uh, before I go to uh, get shot. <laughs> Let's uh, go over here and store the in coupon with the very, very last, whoops, sorry man, with the very, very last bit of room that I have in storage, because I'm going to need the extra room for when I go up, up, and away here. So yeah, I just want to put that away for now. Preparations are complete. The cannon is fire ready. Huh. Let's do this. All right. Now, you stand here. All right. What? Where'd that hatch come from? It's dark and cold. I'm scared. Mommy! General White is Big Bomb Cannon ready? Hut! Leave it to me! Now, men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Ho! Ho! ho boom! <laughs> now, possessions, everyone! Yes, sir! We are about to find out what is inside that little hut. It's a high-tech control center! <laughs> Bring guidance system online. Bringing system online. System now online. System check. System check. Wait, I thought you said all preparations were ready. Shouldn't you have checked the system then by now if you actually meant that preparations were actually ready? Oh, forget it. Maybe they mean something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh! There's definitely more to this screen than met the eye. Open inner shutter. There's like four shutters there. So that would be shutters, not inner shutter. Shutters is plural, shutter is not. Elevate on my mark. This is epic! Look at this cannon! It's huge! It's, what is it, like 15 stories tall? It's massive! It's pointing straight up. It's like, target is the moon. Actually, it looks like it's targeting the mountains despite pointing straight up. What? How, do, what, how does that even work? Okay, now it's going down. Now it, it still looks like it's facing the same mountains. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Okay, focus, focus. There. Lock on, please. 
second speed, 1.08, correct direction, 3.03, correct elevation, minus 2.39, or negative 2.39, depending on how you want me to say it. <laughs> okay, now it's looking like it's actually pointed in the right spots. Now, everyone in! Oh boy, where'd they all come from? There are not this many bombs in this place. No, I refuse to believe that there are that many of these hiding somewhere. Impossible! Maybe they were called in for duty? <laughs> in any case, it's very tight fits and relations are not going well in there. <laughs> Conditions are all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big bomb cannon, fire! Team Rocket's blasting off again! <laughs> Yahoo! Yeah, 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 yeah! That was all so awesome! Good luck, Mario. I didn't hear a word you said! I'm flying through space! <laughs> Whoa! That's my best Mario Whoa impression. It's the moon! I hope to reduce gravity breaks our fall, because we're flying pretty dang far and pretty dang fast. Ah, oh, pain! Nope, didn't help. Oh, oh, pain. Oh, oh. Whoa, that was awesome! Man, who knew adventures got to do stuff like that? Whoa, we're really truly no fooling on the moon. Let's rock out, Gonzales. Let's find the last crystal star and save Peach. Oh yeah, indeed. Alright, so we are on the moon. Let's see what Goombella has to say about this place. We're on the moon! Awesome! The moon I always look up at. Can you believe it? I mean, I heard they put a Goomba on the moon in 69. <clears throat> ah, mucus. But who knew we'd get here? Boy, nothing's impossible on your adventures, Mario. You are the coolest. Uh, oh yeah. Low gravity means you are a lot slower, although you can jump a lot higher. However, this super slow movement will make it difficult to evade enemies. Anyway, you'll notice that there are rocks like this strewn all around the moon, which contains items inside, which mean, uh, which reminds me, I should probably start getting rid of items. That sounds like a good idea. I keep saying that I'm going to get rid of items, but I never get rid of items. <laughs> It, it's just been like my worst habit throughout this entire walkthrough. Um, remember these holes here on the moon, like these crater holes, because they will actually protect you from the enemies that you'll see along the way. Uh, Bobbery just glitched there on the edge a few times. There's a save block there if you need it. I'm not going to save for now. Uh, I'm going to keep Bobbery out here. Oh, no, actually, no, 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 I need Goombella out because there's a new enemy coming. There's a moon cleft, and as you see, they're not affected by gravity whatsoever, making them rather tricky to dodge. Oh, stopwatch. Well, that could be a problem. Oh, I forgot to mention, I've got a new badge set up, by the way. Yeah, I've got that lucky badge, which makes good stuff happen at the beginning of battle, just so I can show that off for a little while. Anyway, let's start out with a tattle. Tattle, 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 That's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. Back least be a six, attack is five, and defense is five. Defense is high, as usual, and fire attacks don't work against it. If you can turn it over with an explosion, though, its defense goes on to zero. All right, the first new thing that I'd like to show here that I equipped in my badges is the piercing blow badge. This thing is spectacular. Oh, I kind of missed the um, special the special time timing of that, and I was hoping you weren't going to use that stopwatch. Eh. No, didn't affect Mario. Alright, let's try it again. One more piercing blow, just watch how awesome the stylish move is if I can pull it off. Ah, poopers! Gotta get the hang of that timing again. It's a little bit slower than the regular hammer, which is what's throwing me off a little bit. I'll, I'll get it, believe me, I'll get it. Um, I should also switch back over to Bobbery because he's by far the best thing to have against those things, and you'll see why. Um, okay, let's blow this up from a distance so I don't attract uh, more clefts. Oh, that's another item. Okay, I really gotta use some items here. So, first strike, let's do this. Let's start using those items. Three of them to use items on, that is sweet, okay. But first, now, piercing blow, here we go. 
Like, I'm gonna show it this time, for realsies here. Press A button every time you touch the ground there on that stylish. Yeah, that's a really spectacular stylish move. Alright, now, bob on bass This thing is really, really powerful and super handy against the clefts. Fill up that gauge, press A button when you land, you'll do a stylish move. It flips them over, drops their defense to zero. Shine Sprite? Oh, so close! So close! That wouldn't have been all that helpful anyway, but yeah. No. Alright, now that their defense is zero, say goodbye! Alright, bomb. I'll use uh, items in the next battle. I swear, I swear. <laughs> I just wanted to show off some of those moves. Because <clears throat> I've been ha also having like a backlog of stuff to show off as well. It's been an uphill battle versus my memory. <laughs> Alright, let's go to another uh, moon cleft here. I'm going to switch to Vivian now. Give her some action with her new move. Of course, get my first strikes in. No earthquake. That could be painful. What's gonna happen that's lucky this time? Flower points will briefly recover. Alright, so let's go to her and use the infatuate. You can use this to confuse enemies. Press A the instant a heart appears over an enemy. Got it? And also, press the A button right afterwards for a stylish move. Whenever Aww. It worked on two out of three, that's okay. Uh, next up, let's use... Oh, 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 nope, items. Definitely get to those items. Let's use the Courage Shell on Vivian. I don't, I'm not sure if I used this before, but increase your defense by three. Now you know what it does if you didn't already figure that out yourself by using it yourself. Ha ha! <laughs> it's just like Pokemon being confused in that they attack themselves. Alright, um... Let's see. Let's swap back over and... Wait, actually, she's probably the best defense because she's got the item. Um, let's do a mini, Mr. Mini, 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 Mini. Yep, only worked on one of them. Yep, that's what it does. Um, I could drop a Thunder Rage on them, but let's do a gradual syrup, I suppose. Because that's been hanging around my inventory since God knows how long. <laughs> yeah. Use it on its own allies. <laughs> allies, excuse me. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, my mucus. It's awful. Terrible. Yeah. Alright, I'm messing around here a lot. <laughs> Let's do a shade fist. Ah. I was actually hoping for um, uh, the burn effect, because that can happen, but I guess it just didn't seem to happen. Oh, wait, wait! That's right, they're resistant to fire. I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, wait, what haven't I also showed before here, before, before? Um, because it's foggy, I might as well burn the turn to switch up some stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to do any special moves until I get some stuff um, <clears throat> set up here. Let's go to Flurry. Yeah! And show off her moves. Well, I should say her uh, new move, if you don't mind. Well, when I can. Uh, yeah, you can make them... You can make yourself dodgy. Uh, but it, it, it's kind of... Well, I guess I can do it now. Because it's not that... I mean, the, the fog is... Just uh, tap those in timing, by the way. The fog is an effect, but that's like an added bit of protection plus the fog, I guess you could say. So it, it stacks on the fog, is what I'm saying. I wasn't sure if it uh, if it would be all that useful to do it, which is why I was which is why I was questioning using that. Anyway, let's see if I can, can do another spectacular piercing blow here. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> oh, missed. There's the fog. Let's try super guarding. Well, if it keeps missing, I'm not going to be able to super guard. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I can do one damage with the hammer now. Because it's six points worth of damage, and you've got five defense. Oh, yeah. I'll swap to... Who haven't I used a move? Let's see. I used Yosher's latest move. Ah, missed completely. <laughs> Uh, what's your last one? Yeah, Stampede. That's that's definitely something I could use here. Eleanor rapidly. That's the noisiest move in the world to use. <laughs> oh, a little bit late on my stylish move. Yoshi attack! 
It's another multi-attack thing, as you've seen right there, so it won't do any damage, but I thought it was just it would be just funny to show anyway, just because. Besides, I'm going to be leveling up soon and recovering those flower points that I lost anyway. Woo! Yeah! And after I level up, I'll show you the badge setup that I have now. I haven't really showed that, did I? <laughs> Equip badges, I've got Damage Dodge badge, uh, Lucky Start badge, that's the one that's been giving me special effects at the beginning of battles. Piercing Blue, you've already seen that. I've got Soft Stomp for those spiky enemies as well as a Spike Shield, just because, you know, they got high defense. I figured that would be pretty handy. Uh, the rest of the stuff is pretty much just stuff you've seen before. Alright, we have used some items. Voltrum, let's pick it up now. I'm just tired of burning items like that <laughs> all right let's let's ignore those guys and just move on here i don't think well actually maybe i can go around them let's use the osher a little bit faster with the osher yeah yeah i think this i figured this one was explodable oh no oh no oh save me yes craters are your safe haven versus the moon clefts all right, just leave him behind. Just let him. Just let him keep scratching himself on the wall. It just seems to be something he likes doing. Let's blow this up. Absolutely nothing. Maybe actually, what I should do is like go around the front first, and do, like just so I can get a full view of the whole area before moving on to the stuff that I can destroy in back. By the way, there's a star piece. That judge, you should be looking out for. Help. No. <laughs> Dang moon gravity! Ah, oh, I want to try to do a, a super guard there. Um, well, could get rid of more items here. Uh, Thunder rage, feel of pain. Yeah, and for good measure. Ah. Oh, missed the stylish timing. But at least I got the timing of that, the stage hazard, the moon that fell out, fell over. <laughs> Woo! Alright. Uh, I'm, there's a star piece behind one of these rocks. I, I, maybe it's not in this one. I think it's actually the room in front of, uh, an upcoming fortress. So, yeah. Hmm. I... I don't think if I, I mean, I recall there's, I don't think there's anything in this room, so I'm gonna trust my instincts and just go over to the next room. <laughs> if I miss something, ah, if I miss something on the moon, please tell me. Um, new enemy here. We've got Z Yucks. Uh, they're uh, pretty annoying. <laughs> you're trying to dodge projectiles at high speed when you're moving slowly. Yeah, oh, sweet. Alright, uh, Tattle, the Yucks. New version of the Yucks. We haven't seen Yucks in a while. That's a Z Yucks. It's a genetic improvement on the original Yucks. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Multiple mini Z Yucks will appear to protect the main unit, as you'd expect. Sometimes they also restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me up. It doesn't have much HP, but those barriers often protect it from attacks. Yeah, that's. that could be a problem. Um, oh yeah, they're, they're ever so slightly floating off the ground, can't use the hammer. Oh, uh, you know what I haven't used yet? Showstopper. Press the buttons in order, they appear on screen. Take your time on this. Just take your time and just, yeah, just watch the buttons from left to right, A, Y, B, Y. They give you plenty of time to do this. Just take your time, just relax. Calm yourself. Just it, this is a lot like that Yoshi's Island mini game, in that you have to press the buttons in order to prevent the bandit from blowing you up. I mean, popping a balloon in your face. Uh, yeah, it worked. The showstopper can cause the one-hit uh, KO status effect to happen, which of course kills them in one hit. Incredibly handy, of course. No, don't shoot me. Oh, there's the star piece. I see. I, I see it. I see it. You. That's two remaining, if I recall correctly. No, I almost made it to the safe spot. 
Oh, I guess I couldn't super guard that. Um, well, I, I, I could have super guarded that, I just failed that. Next thing I haven't showed here is Sweet Feast, but uh, it uses so much, and I'm already pretty full on stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let that ZX do some stuff, just so you can see how it's like and whatnot, and yeah, so let's just head bonk this sucker, knock its HP down a little bit. And now it's going to spawn... Well, eventually it will. There we go! And that will cause a protective barrier. Which is pretty annoying until you get rid of its little buddy here. Oh, wait a second! I should have tattled that! Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just appeal, just gonna burn the turn. I'm gonna let it make another baby. They breed asexually. <laughs> On there you go. Good boy. Alright, tactics. Oh! Why did I do that? Just, why did I... Alright, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this one. All I wanted to do was tattle it, and for some reason, I, my, I like, reflex went to appeal for some reason. I don't know why. Sometimes I do the dumbest things while I commentate, I swear. <laughs> Alright, attack. Tattle Mini z -yucks. Here we go. Here we go. That's a Mini z -yucks. It lives to protect the z -yucks. There can be as many as four. Max HP is two, attack is zero, and defense is zero. If you don't clear these guys out, you'll never be able to attack the z -yucks. Using a multiple strike attack to take them out all at once is a totally good idea. I mean, I respect them protect protecting their... whatever, but they get no mercy. <laughs> Alright, now I got it. Got that Tattle. Like a boss. <laughs> just wanted to take care of one of them. I, I mean, it's going to spawn another one, but um, by just taking care of that one, what will happen is that I'll, I'll have the ability to attack it, uh, you know, now in the same turn rather than... Uh, or not, because a fog came in. This may ruin my plan. Or not. Okay. I was a little worried about that fog making me miss, but it didn't. So, it worked out. That's good. Alright, now over here. Yeah! No, please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Blow that up and the pipe will appear. Well, it's inside there, so it didn't exactly appear. It's just inside that. And that pipe takes you in the background, uh, of which I'm not going to do just yet, because I want to go and explore the other parts of the moon. If you don't mind. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Isn't there something else around here. Yes. Ah! Pain! I got a laser in the face. But it didn't hurt at all, actually. <laughs> I was just being overly dramatic. Alright, maybe I should take care of that. This thing has just been a pain in my neck. <laughs> this whole time I've been in this room. Ah! Still really under leveled, aren't I? <laughs> Look how far away it was. Power punch. Yeah, it was so far away that it even blew up in the distance after I defeated. Oh, geez. No, please. Please don't. I beg of you. I just want to look around. Just want to look around. Okay, it stopped. It stopped. It stopped. For now, at least. Alright, blow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Blow it up! Run! <laughs> Maybe I should have Yoster out. Eh. Go! Move those little legs! You're much faster even in this low gravity area. <laughs> still not quite as fast as regular running with regular gravity, but still it's better than nothing. Alright. Oh. Um. Alright, let's look around here. Oh yeah, this is actually really effective at dodging those moon clefts. Yeah, Yoster. You are, once again, a lifesaver. Right, come over here. Get out of my way. Go around here. No, 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 no. Around this... somewhere. Just as long as you're away from... that blow up of a rock. There we go. There we go. Now, Bobbery. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this moon now. Oh, no, wait, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> of course, once I'd say I, I get the hang of the moon, I don't actually have the hang of the moon. 
Yoster, back out, because he is my safety net. Yeah, alright. Something else to blow up there. That could be an issue. <laughs> There's one right next to it. And I bet it's guarding something. Run! Okay, that's a spite pouch. Oh wait, where's that? Maybe that's a ruin powder, not a spite pouch. They're very similar in sprites. Alright, uh, lure it away. Hey. Hey, you. Okay, I'm not gonna lure it away, it's just gonna not affect me whatsoever. <laughs> I'll, I will take that. <laughs> I will take whatever I can get. Alright, what? We got enough room. So... Let's get Bobby to blow this up. It's a courage shell. And I think that is it for the items that you can find around here. If I recall correctly, if I'm wrong, please tell me. Uh, oh no, I'm trapped. <laughs> I can't just walk out of that hole. Uh, by the way, um, on the moon, imagine yourself walking around an entire sphere because, check this out. Check this out. We are back to the start where the save block is. Yeah, we did a full circle around the moon there. It's pretty. Neat. It's a pretty neat area overall, but it's very, 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 very slow. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. It's by far the safest way to dodge the enemies that you see around here are around the perimeter because they, they you know they have that range or they can't go past a certain spot not to mention that when you go outside the range you know they don't even see you at all so you don't have to worry about them uh bothering you along the way except when enemies shoot stuff at you like those z yucks <laughs> anyway uh, i want to go back over to that pipe because i am pretty sure i cleared out the moon no 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 they're back no! They're back! Please, dear lord, no. Oh! Just get in! Get in! <laughs> there! I made it! You can't shoot me in the background! <laughs> By the way, I know I'm going in the wrong direction here. I just want to see if there's something over here. Okay, there's not. I don't see anything. And I also looked on my camera to see if there's anything at the edge of the screen. Like, as I said before, I can't see the very edges of the screen on, on my TV, so yeah. I, I can, however, see them if I look on the camera, but sometimes I forget if I look at the camera screen, so... I mean, I forget to look at the camera screen. Alright. This building stinks of serious funny business. Careful, Gonzalez. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Mysterious. Very, very mysterious. Although that symbol on the floor looks very, very familiar. Ah! Who's that dude? Whoa! That's Mario! So let's get him? <laughs> He's like, should we? <laughs> oh, I should have Goombella. Poopers! Well, we got a mini boss here. Kind of, sort of mini boss. It's an Elite X Naught. Ooh, it's got a. Stopwatch. That could be an issue. Um, but I must. I absolutely must tattle it. Otherwise, I will regret it. Elite X Nauts. They have pretty cool designs, by the way. That's an Elite X Naught. This guy is the creme, creme de la creme of the X Nauts. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 1. He'll use regular attacks as well as boosting his power or size. Elite X Nauts are tough, but you just have to smack him away until they go down. Uh, I won't be able to smack away if they do that. Uh, well, it didn't affect Goombella, so that's cool. Oh, I was a little bit um, early on my timing there. Alright, what can I do here that would be ideal for this? Because I still have items to use up here. So I'll do a, a little omelet du vermage. Can't guard, sadly. Uh oh, it's got a potion. It just increases its attack points. And back to normal, alright. I mean, well, back to normal of the dodgy. I thought it was the, the stopwatch. My bad. 
Alright, what should I do here? How about... I swap to someone who can do some major damage here. Oh, got another potion. Attack power? Yep. I'm not too worried about them because, as you can tell, they are a... I mean, I've got a lot of HP. I've, I mean, I've got enough HP. It's not really that big of a deal overall. Um, let's do a Bombast. Uses a lot of flower points. It's the highest attack... Uh, highest flower point attack in the game. But it's pretty dang worth it. And now here's something that I haven't showed off yet. The Sweet Feast. It's just like Sweet Treat, except it recovers a lot more stuff. By the way, both Sweet Treat and Sweet Feast, if you didn't notice this before, um, oh, recovers uh, your status effects as well. I, yeah. By the way, I'm, all I'm doing is holding left. You don't have to tilt left repeatedly with this either, so it's much, much more efficient than faster to use. It can recover so much stuff if you do this well. So yeah, with with that on your side, you don't really have all that much to worry about. Because you can always you always have like a way out, so to speak, with that in your possession. Unless of course you used um, your star points, but that's that's another story whatsoever. Anyway, uh, let's start taking them out now, shall we? Oh yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Despite them being elite, they are still silly, silly enemies. Bloop. Oh, early on my timing. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So over here. Oh, Mario, old boy. Since these ex-not ruffians are about, yes, I'm quite sure of it. The Crystal Star must be here as well. Our dear Peach must be here too, wouldn't you say? Let's find her, old boy. Now we know where we are. It's the x Not Fortress. Listen to this awesome music. As I switch to Goombella to do a tattle of the area. This is the x Not Fortress. This seems to be the only way in or out. The stars look really nice through these windows, but I guess now is not the time. <laughs> Alright. Now that I've reached the x Not Fortress, I'm going to save my game and end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. Dancing to the music. Feel the rhythm in your body.